Pamela and I wrote the show, Highest Education, back in 2013. And the interesting story about it was we wanted to write a strong female character since we, I am married to a strong female character. <laughs> and we did, but there was something missing and we couldn't quite figure out what it was until a class in Theater Accelerator where we were talking about Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. And it's something that I grew up with, going all the way back to Star Wars when I first got introduced to it. And we followed that in building the character for Pamela. And one of our participants in Theater's Accelerator, when we were extolling the virtues of the hero's journey, said, well, what about the heroine's journey? And I had not heard of the heroine's journey, which was somebody who had taken the hero's journey and actually made it relevant for females. <laughs> So this is something that I find really interesting because as somebody who is sort of an up-and-comer in an industry that's been very typically male-dominated, there is this pressure to, as, a, as an empowered woman, do things the way that men do them so that you can like, assume that role and take up that space. But the really interesting part that I've seen with my generation is we are learning how to be empowered women not by acting like men, but by empowering the feminine and empowering all of the differences that we have and bringing those differences to an industry. And yes, old dogs. <laughs> <laughs> old my lady's dog. in the corner over there. <laughs> old dogs can learn new tricks. And thus we, we rewrote the show. And what you're going to see now is a scene from Highest Education where Pamela, who wrote the music and lyrics for the show, is playing the character of Amanda, who achieved everything she wanted on Earth by following the male path. And when she went into the netherworlds, there was something missing in her. So she sent back down with her guardian angel to discover what she never found in the first place. Enjoy. Ask me, I don't know. Mortal love doesn't affect me. That's for humans here below. The love that we give is not love we feel. What an inefficient system if that were true. Erase all doubt by pushing on and make the archangel proud of you. Do your best. Don't get discouraged. Give those kids the support they need. Hear their call. Offer your guidance. Give them all the tools to succeed. I can't get distracted by what I feel. I've got to keep pressing on. But these things I feel today, will they ever go away? There is something new inside me and something it's gone. This planet's spinning far too fast. I've got to hold on. The world was simply black and white up till yesterday. But look at that. Now I see a little bit of gray. Something's missing inside me. Something that's real. Whole and complete, that's how I should feel. A tiny piece of black and white must have gone away. And in its place, could it be a little bit of gray? As she I used to feel sure 
Something is shifting. It all so clear. Not the way but she now I feel. was before. There's nothing keeping me safe. Something new. And he is here. Something so lovely. His way so warm. Why, Why did, did I, I not see it before? There's something about him that makes me feel familiar yet terrified. She I've opened up a door and she I can't go back anymore. There is something new inside me. Something that's real. There's, There's a human, human part of being human that she do we can feel. The world was only black and white up till yesterday. But look at that. Now I see she is blooming. There is something new inside her. Something that's real. There's a brand new part of being human that we both feel. The world was only black and white up till yesterday. But look at that, now I see a little bit of gray. I see color. I don't look good in gray. I 